Welcome back to another Smoke Box. And today we have a very special guest and we are lighting the big dogs for this one. I got my man Dopus Yola up in here. Yo, what up, what up? Thanks for having me. Welcome. You know, it's been a long time um, that we've been talking about doing this and we finally got it together and welcome to the box. Thank you guys for doing it up proper. We're joined Shit. by uh, Cali Blaze and what E-Zone. Up, and we're just going to light these Titanic bitches off right now. Right. And uh, <laughs> this shit tastes amazing. First hit. It smells like Dang. orange juice. Mm. There's a good mix in here, guys. Real good mix. I want to say congratulations on the success of, of the podcast and Thank show. Thank you. Thank you. You have steady been growing and taking it to different levels, man. Thanks, man. And I got to tell you, I had a fun fucking time going over they there smoked at the fuck out so and, i appreciate yes. it i appreciate it and uh you know and i say this to to folks that that um often get requested into the box because you know how it is i mean you know you do a show as well motherfuckers are always hitting you up with who who they want to see you every have two on. seconds yeah. and you were one of the guys that motherfuckers was like you need to have dope as yola on man Y'all exactly. need to fucking have a session, and then you know you had been here before. We just hadn't done this. Oh yeah, and with fucking I did his own show. Like what? Yeah. Three, yeah. Four, you five, remember we were set long. down, set up down here. Remember? Yeah, the table was right. Yeah. The table, now we're yeah. up there. Yes. Yeah, the, when uh, you guys had the slabs from Kenji, the, the stretchy yeah. ones, the stretchy. Yeah. 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 That, that was, was like four ago. years ago, almost, at least, man. Bro. Yeah, at, at least, least four years ago. So you know, like. What what made you get into the podcasting world? What what was it that like reeled you in? For podcasting, um I do the story times on YouTube where I just sit there and talk about shit that I've done. And at the end of one of them, I'm like, you know what? I like podcasts. Would you guys watch a podcast if I did it? And then Marty, Drastic Graphics, my right. homie, he does all the media management for like Rogan and Theo Vaughn's and shit. So he hit me up like, you know, I do a lot of podcasting. I've always wanted to do my own. And then we just linked up he started editing helping me edit everything and that's when my channel just skyrocketed yeah and then since then dude <laughs> we just we had a plan it took us a year of planning before we did our first episode and a then, year yeah we did a wow. year because we're looking for a building and i'm like nah i gotta know what i'm doing right you know because there's no people, cuts. yeah because some people just jump in too like yeah. you know not ready they think it's easy just to pop on a podcast and uh, it, it is but if you're a perfectionist it's I'm not. watching myself like, oh my god, right? Fuck, what am I doing? Yeah, you yeah. know, especially uh, all my videos have cuts in them. Podcast, you better not fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. yeah it's it's really you know holding the conversation and making it interesting. But like, what people don't realize is the setup of it. You know, like you've been here, you you've seen this this building go through so several changes. several changes. We just changed it up again not too long ago and like you said when you're a perfectionist it's hard to get it all the way dialed in the way you might see it yeah for sure but i gotta say the setup you got rocking right now fucking awesome bro thank you man thank awesome. you marty and i were looking at it like it's all right we gotta fucking do this ourselves because it's just him and i you know yeah so <laughs> it's really fun that trips me out it's it's, it's hey, you said that i mean I don't know if a lot of maybe our people are really don't know, but you said until re as a recent, like, you you barely started having somebody else help you out with the editing or like edit the videos. I didn't know you were doing all those story times. Those just are like an hour long sometimes, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're just doing just constantly doing it. Was it hard learning all that stuff? Fuck yeah, I hate it. I started on iMovie. See, yeah, I tell you, man, trying to run the shit yourself is tough, but it's like. You know how you want to see it, and that's the cool part about it. Mm -hmm. Like you see, you like you know what it's supposed to be. Yeah. So I know my when I'm filming, I know what I already want the edit to look right. like. So that's what's easy for us. I like the fact that you took the time to like get all your shit together first, as opposed to just jumping in. Because some of us get excited, we know we we might have some heat, mm -hmm. so we just try to throw it together and 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 uh, knock it down whatever way we can, and sometimes man it's better just to take the time to set up yeah and man. get it right as opposed to like fucking just constantly having a push to dial it in yeah my thing was i don't want to watch the first episode and go all right the fuck am i doing yeah like uh what am i doing I'm not even <laughs> on the conversation with myself it's it's gotta yeah. look right you know? yeah it's gotta look right yeah. it's gotta 
can't be forced is nah. really what it was right and it, it's cool because your shit is like, like a, a natural conversation though that's the way i felt and some of the interviews that you've done recently you had fuck what steve-o um yeah. fuck who'd you just have um uh, we had Dr. Drew Dr. on. Dr. Drew, that's a, a longtime friend of mine, bro, and it was so great. great oh, bro, you don't even fucking know. I've been trying to get him here, and, and it's in hard this, to schedule. Well, not in the box. Okay. He won't be in the box. Like, he'll, I don't know. <laughs> he'll, he'll do the podcast. Because, look, here's the thing, right? When I first met Dr. Drew, it was during Love Lines when they were doing a show called Love Lines, him and, and Adam Carolla. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, you know, the crazy shit you hear on there is just fucking nuts. And the way that my man dealt with all of it, you know what I mean? Like being the, the voice of reason. But early on when the cannabis questions would come. So like if me and Sendog or me and Bobo are sitting there doing love lines, you know, of course, cannabis questions happen from, you know, the fans and shit like that. And they would ask his opinion while we're there, and he would totally be anti-cannabis. Like, really? I don't believe that cannabis should be legal. It's the gateway. Like, all the old information. Yeah. And as time went on, Drew, credit to my man, you know, he went and did the fucking knowledge and did the homework and realized, you know what? Cannabis ain't really the gateway. Yes. And he noticed, like, how it, it was actually improving people's lives in in different ways through the cbds and and through some of the therapies that cannabis is used for and shit like that he went from being against cannabis to you know yes it should be legal <laughs> and 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 that flip right there man you never see doctors like totally flip like that especially one like him so it was great to see him on your show because that just shows like you know that he's embraced the culture for sure i was <laughs> Sorry, Marty told me we got him. Like, for real? Fuck yeah! I'm not gonna smoke. I just didn't want. <laughs> Sorry, certain guests I don't want to box. I don't want to smoke them out because, like you said, they might have a fucking panic attack. Yeah, yeah that's Tony Hawk. No. Yeah, not on purpose, but like, not on purpose. When yeah. he talked about that, like he's like, "Yo, man, I went to get McDonald's afterwards." Yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, you were high." Dude. High as hell. <laughs> yeah kept blowing smoke towards them and like you know how like some people's eyes turn like the outside the bottom of it turns pink not the inside of it but you're like i'm like yo why do you look like that like your eyes are swollen <laughs> the munchies are real for for someone who doesn't fucking really smoke that crazy Fuck yeah for guys like us we could turn it off i feel like sometimes when i smoke I'm, and i have my food ready i'll not be hungry after of course yeah. okay it happens to you too okay. yeah it does yeah you gotta smoke like an hour before you eat. Nope. Smoke right before you eat it actually takes the appetite away for a second. <laughs> That's how I feel. Being high. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Riding it out. When when we were outside of the car, we were talking about, you know, how Instagram has, you know, fucked off many of your accounts. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. And and it, it's happened to E Zone as well. And like my my account's been shadow banned mm -hmm. here and there. And you know, like you have to look where where that fucking oh, you notice is and i you showed, showed you where me, that yeah. was at but it, it's crazy how you know they'll they'll let all this fuck shit go and, and you know whether it's controversial politics or hate shit or someone getting beat up like or you know bullied. like the world star type or of shit yeah, yeah. that you used to see or, or the trap shit but if somebody fucking posts up a bag of fucking weed yep. or a nugget or something like that, <laughs> boom, immediately they want to fucking flag you for it. Yeah. And it's crazy because, I mean, you know, it's owned by Facebook and Zuckerberg and that group and all that shit. So whatever Facebook is going through, IG is probably going through in terms, of scrutiny, in terms of scrutiny. And they're picking on the cannabis accounts. And it's fucked up because, I mean, you know, a lot of us live in, in a cannabis-friendly or legal state. And... You know, they should know that, and it there there should be some sort of fucking freedom to, uh, if you're if you're not trapping or fucking, you know, trying to fucking sell, the kids exactly. or sell, yeah, sell, you know. sell it. I mean, you, know, you brought up a really good point, but what's really fucked up with Instagram is the selective yep. on who's allowed to do this. You know, we were yeah. actually just discussing before you guys got here. When you look at what's going on with Kanye and shit like that, right? No disrespect, but think about it. Yeah. Kanye, he's actually bullying Pete Davidson and them and doing shit that if a nobody was doing that, their account would be shut down. But oh, now yeah, they, I didn't even think about yeah, that. Kanye's that's bullying. reach is so much bigger than everyone else. He's touching hundreds of millions of people. So if anything, 
he should be so he should be shut down before a small person because yeah. of the effect that he can have. With yeah, because he he's says. he's basically bullying he another celebrity. He absolutely, is. no, for and real. If, if that was us, we're but, shut down in two seconds. And then he did it to Billie Eilish. That's right. To you the know, girl. Yeah. 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 So Billie Eilish uh, said she stopped her show because someone someone in the show was having trouble breathing. Oh, right? that's Cause, right. Because her shit yeah. was like fucking packed. I mean, her shit is like off the chain, yeah. right? So she brought them personally, like she got them an inhaler and stopped the show until that person was all right. And she made a remark like, yeah, you know, we don't go till everybody's good or some shit like that. Something to that effect. Like, you know, we're, we're, we we stop the show and make sure everybody's good, blah, blah, blah. And um, Kanye went and fucking went and rode for Travis Scott like... Yo, I know that was a dig at Travis Scott. You need to apologize or whatever the fuck he said. And it was like, dude, you know, I love you and I got respect for you. But what the fuck are you doing? Right. Like, leave this chick alone. Not she's knocking she's, her for doing she, the right thing. Yeah, she's doing the right she thing. The right thing. And you're knocking her because you think she took a stab at Travis Scott. And so what if she fucking did? And you know He's what she bad. did? It's so mildly. Like, yeah. If anything, it's more like if the shoe fits, wear it. She didn't make it like... This is what happened. She just put it out there and they're like, wait, that applies to us. She didn't make it like that. Yeah, yeah. Direct comment to them. Yeah, you know, like, you know? I get it. You're friends and you want to stick up for yeah. your friend. But, like, you know, you're going to get a reputation for picking on the little white girls who can't, you know, mm -hmm. snap oh, back at you. twice now. Yeah, twice, twice now. Oh, yeah. no, no. I didn't even think about Eilish. that shit. It's true. And it's like, what are you doing, my dude? Lee, stay out of that. Yeah. Travis is a big boy. He can handle his fucking self. Yeah, you know he's not even trying to deal with that right now. He's trying to be a father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And congrats to them for right. the the new baby and all that stuff. But you know, like fuck, stay, keep your ass out of it. That that that's the problem these days. A lot of motherfuckers don't know how to stay out of their own shit. Right. I mean, stay out of the shit that's got nothing, nothing to do with, do with them. them. Say, I, I everything you just said, I had no idea about any of it. Yeah. yeah. Said the Pete Davidson thing because I saw memes and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, he, but, yeah he's like, calling him yeah. Skeet. <laughs> skeet? Like, he's calling him Skeet. <laughs> Why? Well, it's like, oh, it's, uh, like I skeet. thought you meant like Skeeter from Doug. <laughs> That's what I, I thought there. Uh, okay. <laughs> you thought it? Okay. <laughs> I got to say, guys. <laughs> You guys sitting here and do this a lot. My eyes are fucking on fire. fire. Dude, man. This is fucking pro shit right Don't here. Don't trip you. The, the, I, feel, for this. I feel that shit too, man, but... It's almost like, you know, when you see those like Buddhist fools light themselves on fire, they say they, they don't just, feel it. They, yeah, they it's just like your eyes just fucking just go into that mode. They're like, look, man, we know we're burning right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> but it's go be honest. It's, it's, it's one of those things where, like, you know, you do it enough and it becomes second nature. Yeah, right? for sure. And we always tell everybody, right, you know, because Burn was like, how do you fucking do that? Like, he, <laughs> he hit me up one day after the, after the Wiz Khalifa smoke box where he was sitting in Ricky P and I can't remember who was in the there first was seat. Five fools in that but there car, was five dude. of us oh, in here. No. And you know, like he's like, fuck dude, how do you do it? You're not like even tripping it. I'm like, well, there's a couple things, right? Is one, I try not to cough. I'm trying my best not right. to cough. Because right now. because this as it's circulating will make the cough worse. One do this right? shit. Right? And then two <laughs> I try not to move around a lot. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Little movements. Oh, no, I caught it. <laughs> That's it. You fuck man. You got you to gotta drown it with water, bro. Just Have take a sip water. of water, no. and then you're going to drown it, and you'll be it all right. Um, hey, I know, I know how it is. It happens to the That's best right. of us. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. This is fucked up right here. You know, we like we, we really box ourselves out, and we box people out. But, you know, um, you've heard of Charlie Jordan, yes? Charlie Jordan. Okay, so it's it's um this this girl named Charlie Jordan. She does music. She's also a YouTuber. She's an influencer. Um, she does music. She DJs. She's also a fucking stoner like, like us. Okay. And so you go do her show, and she's got a spin wheel right for the guest. So first half of the show, they spin the wheel. Whatever it lands on, you do it. So if it's a bong hit, dab, blunt, or whatever. That's the first thing that you spin it again and whatever it lands on the second time you fucking do that. Oh shit. So the, on my third spin, it lands on this fucking icon and she's like geeked out like, oh my God, yes, this is what I wanted. And I'm like, fuck, what? Uh, she's very happy. <laughs> and uh, she, so she explains to me, okay, so the next thing is we got to get in this box. You know how like you do the smoke box? 
I said, yeah, well, well we're going to get in a box. Shit. And we're going to stand in there and see how long we could stand in there, right? So we get in this fucking box that maybe roughly around three people could fit in, but she only puts two. Like those Chuck E. Cheese boxes with the tickets? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, boom, the fucking, uh, what's that shit called? Um, it, it, it's like a, a heating device, but it, then it's blowing all the, the fucking, yeah, motor. the leaf blower motor into the fucking box. Oh, so it envelops the box with oh, smoke. No. And it's like, she's like, how long can we stand in here? 30 seconds. And I, I stood in there for a minute, 30 seconds. Oh. And th apparently that was the record at the time, but. That was hard. You have to go in there with goggles. Word up. Oh, eyes yeah. Will Fuck burn. yeah, your eyes will dry up. Because your eyes will burn. It's eyes like are burning in this bitch. Like right imagine. now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> you know, you got to think. Your, your water, your eyes have, like, water reservoirs, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, now's the time to fucking call that shit, bro. But, <laughs> like, you know, you, you have a hell of a tolerance, too, bro. Like, you, there's a video where you did, where you <laughs> ate a fuckload of edibles, bro. Like, it was, like... A certain amount of milligrams, like yeah. sometimes, bro. I I, I I overdo it, and I'm, I might eat like two thousand milligrams, yeah, and then I'm like that. my sweat, and then if I go take a fucking shit, bro, that's you'll be like, go, what the fuck, this shit is, <laughs> I know, it has that fucking, you know, it's too much THC, bro, in your body. How long did that last? Like, how was the recovery like for it that? Took shit? like a day. I just felt tired as fuck. How many that's, milligrams was it? It's five thousand. Oh, Jeez, that's more than I ever did. But I tried. I went okay. to play basketball and did stuff. I was trying to stay awake. Yeah, wow. Because that's what you got to do. You got to yeah. keep yourself fucking. Moving. Yeah, man, it was terrible. But wow, that's it wasn't fun, like man. I was so high. I was just exhausted. You know what's crazy though, and we've said this on the podcast many a time, but whenever you eat that many milligrams of of uh, cannabis, or whatever <laughs> the edibles or whatever, the minute you go fucking take a fucking dump. Shit doesn't smell like shit. It smells like weed. Weed. Oh, I smelled that before, and I was like, well, no way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no way. The first time that happened to me, I was shocked. Yeah, me too. We were yeah. doing um, the, the Bong Appetit show, and so we're eating, like, three-course meals, like, judging three plates but three courses from three different chefs. Gourmet whatever. shit. Gourmet shit. And, you know, we... We didn't think to pace ourselves. We were just going. And, uh, dude, I'd leave there so fucking wrecked because I was still smoking after the fucking show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the minute I hit the fucking head for the first time, you know, <laughs> I was like, did I leave a bag of weed? What the fuck? <laughs> and that happened to me, I was tripping. Yeah, that was that, that's the crazy shit about doing edibles. It, at least it makes your shit smell like weed if you eat enough of them. You know, after this shit, you can't really like if you're gonna go anywhere, <laughs> like you, you might like you know maybe somewhere where you don't want to go in there smelling super loud. You're gonna have to change a pair of clothes after doing a box. Oh, sure. fact, yeah, like you sure. you go into the you go to, your skin. anywhere oh, you're gonna it's fucking it's go. Like if I were to go to a restaurant <laughs> right now, oh man, that shit's so the cool. whole it's fucking small. restaurant is smelling like fucking herb. They're telling you you're smelling good. Yeah, or or not because yeah. sometimes most if it's people too much, tell you Ooh, you smell good. No, they tell you some, hear that yeah. a lot. Hey, listen, when I when I stepped out of that box with Charlie Jordan, man, oh. I smelled like a fucking ashtray for sure. Great, <laughs> I'm at you. Oh man, and that was that was tough. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, bro. That happens to the best of them. Yeah, it happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, hybrids in here. Mm, that's yeah. uh. Cherry pie Skittles. Uh, yeah. B, you threw some in too. What'd you throw in? That was probably some SOS. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, that uh, more fruity that you taste in there. Yeah. From Red Light Reserve. Yeah, yeah, I always smoke OG all day, every day. You said, like, I noticed, I was like, you always keep that around, bro. I was like, ever since, like, I know, I know you've been, like, going to your place a few times, like, before. I was like, man, oh, OG you only. keep fucking just straight OG Kush. I was like, man, I kind of... A lot of people, it's, it's, it's harder to find out, find more these days, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, man. Um, I think a lot of us that grew up here in Southern Cali, that's that's what we live by. Right. We like the other flavors and shit, but... but it's I, always the go-to. That's yeah. always the go-to. Because yep. like everybody I've ever had in this box, we ask the question, if they're from Southern California, hey, what's what's your go-to strain? What, what do you fuck with? And most of the time, oh, I fucks with that OG. I like this, I like that, but... I fucks with the OG, and 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 you hear that a lot from fuckers that 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 have, you know, been out here long enough. Yeah, because that's the most impactful weed. Yeah, it is <laughs> that 
Straight gas. And I find that it doesn't hurt my chest. A lot of weeds fuck my chest up. Yeah. Like different strains. It'll close your chest though. Right you now, know? like right now, certain <laughs> certain fruity strains. No, it's getting itchy. <laughs> That is to result for the immense amount of motherfucking smoke in this car right now. That too. It's funny you say that. <laughs> because huh. some some exotics <laughs> tickle your throat like some that. exotics do yeah, give you, you do. like build up in your lungs. Mm -hmm. It's not damaging your shit, nope. but it's it's building some shit in your lungs. And I don't know if it's whatever's in their fucking um whatever's in the fucking nutrient regimen or something. Because every strain has grown slightly different, right? You know what I mean? Like, there's a different regimen for some yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Some some growers use the same shit for every strain. But that doesn't necessarily work. Rookie, no, you know no. what I'm saying? You, you have to adjust. Your plant's going to tell you what you need. Right. Yes. That's one thing not to be stupid. I love about Kenji. And, you know, I've been around him for a while and watching him in the grow for a while. And what, what's so dope about Kenji with the insane flavors that he's, he's so in tune to the plant, meaning... He could read that plant and realize, hey, you know what? The other plants are good at this nutrient, but this plant, too much nutrient yeah. is no good. He'll cut it back and you'll see the plant explode. So he could read those plants. He knows what they need. <laughs> and a lot of people are overdoing their nutrients. They're overdoing it. Oh, no, less is more. And you got to read your plant. And that's what makes Kenji the fucking sensei. Is I, he could read his fucking plant and know, hey, right. I got to cut her back a little on this and pump this up a little. Next thing you know, he dials that bitch in like a mother. And you got to flush it. That's proper. right. You got to get that proper yeah. flush proper. in. Because that's when you get the fuck shit. That's right. Like when you feel it in the back of your throat or you got any lung buildup, yeah, man. that's because they didn't flush properly. Yeah. And, and they'll, they'll still run. Yeah. You know, they'll still run it. They, it it could even <laughs> still test clean. It's just not going to have a full fucking flush and you'll fucking taste that. And that's horrible. <clears throat> you know? Um, but... You know, cheers to all the motherfuckers who do it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And OGs, oh, like, if they're done right, they don't have any of that effect on you. That's, right. That's why I, I stick to it. It's never failed me. Yeah. That insane OG. He's yeah. a banging man. They got to preserve that cut. And they do. They just actually tissue cultured it, too, to bring her back to life. <laughs> God damn, did it come back well. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's yeah, bro, this shit is real. This <laughs> <laughs> shit is real in the this, field. Yeah, this oh, shit is man. crazy. Yeah, we, I don't know why we do this. Yeah, we this do this for we you, do. assholes. You can't, right. even, we, you can't even see us anymore, yeah. probably. I bet, like, the whole, whole fucking minutes. footage, like, after the first five minutes, it's, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, you guys, I could barely, I can barely see there. you. Yeah, it's, it's real uh, right now. It's this is probably thing. the most the, the the four fattest joint smoked in the box, right? Right. Yeah. This is this definitely. is a record. <laughs> this is a record, right? This here. is a record with mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'll tell you one person that 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 got me fucking by surprise in here and rolled fatter joints than me was fucking Mad uh um Madison Ivy. Oh really? Yeah, I came with a fat. I came with fatties and fuck the ones that she rolled were fucking three times bigger than mine. I was like, what the Damn. fuck? Shit, my girl, what what did she do? She fucking. She, she, oh, oh! I thought she was like a weed. Girl. Well, she, yeah, she had <laughs> don't film, but loves weed. She, <laughs> she crossed into the, she crossed into the weed lane. Uh, did she get her own strain or some shit like that? Or uh, she was just she was just working an ambassador. With, she was just working ambassador. There you go. I got you. But she smokes heavy, is what you say. Smokes heavy. <laughs> I always respect when see girls with those big old bats, man. Take me down, saying what up? <laughs> Word up. <laughs> what up? <clears throat> So what are you what are you working on these days right now aside from like the podcast um, and the show? Oh damn, you guys are killing me! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> um, I started a brand called The Dopest. Okay, it's a HHC, basically the new Delta version. You have so many fans hit us up like, yo, I love watching videos. I wish I could smoke. I'm like I haven't had weed in three months, and we thought, <clears throat> what's a way that I can help the fans out? I can't get weed in their state. <laughs> yeah. So I started it. Thedopashop.com. <laughs> As of today, it's been two months. <laughs> nice. The fifth largest company in America. Congratulations. Damn. Hell yeah. That's it's been popping. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's what I'm focused on right now. <laughs> the podcast. I'm just making content. I mean, do you feel that the 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 podcast opened up these other avenues for you like Fuck that? yeah to not be so weeded out 
Mm. He's like, Dr. Drew can come on. Yeah. Not smoke. Ada Rodriguez came on. Didn't smoke. Trevor Wallace didn't smoke. We had a freaking great conversation. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have to be about that. Yeah, I'm trying to All show it like we don't have to just smoke weed and take bong rips. But we can still have a fan base be engaged. Yeah. That's yeah. really all I'm focused on this whole year is just expanding shit. You know you can hold yours if you if if you're not fucking getting stoned and it's still a good fucking interview. Like oh, some of my best ones are yeah. not smoking ones. Like when we had Steve O, right? Yeah, you I've known exactly. Steve O for forever, right? And uh, you know, he told me he didn't smoke and he didn't want to be around it. And so for the first time we did not smoke for that first hour of the show that he could do with us. Made a sacrifice. And we made a sacrifice. <laughs> it was still a fucking great show. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the conversation that happened and all that, I mean, that's what it, that's what it's all about, the conversation and what comes out of that shit. And the fact is, you know, yeah, we're stoners, but we're more than that. Exactly. That's what this year's about. Yeah. Just trying to build and show, like, no, you can be a business person. You can be an entrepreneur. You can still get fucked up, but just do a good job at everything else. Yeah. You know, and, and take advantage of the opportunities that come yes. and do those right. Like the way that you mapped out doing the, the, the podcast and the show and all that, like you're mapping out all the other shit and that's the right path, like to map it out, get it right. And then execute. Exactly. I'm trying to set it up and not just half-ass do 20 episodes and be like well it wasn't great to, to stop yeah no <laughs> you ever you ever had um you ever had a paranormal experience paranormal yeah there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, mm. we're having you know, that now ghosts and shit. <laughs> yeah like i mean just overall like you never <laughs> oh my god can somebody bring another one is it possible another water guys dying in here Another water. I haven't been in a hot box in so long. Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been this a minute. is a hot box this, right now. This box is hot. Oh, this yeah. is no joke. Is... Oh, my <laughs> God. You know, right when it's like this, man, it's like this. I'm <laughs> telling you, dude. It's serious. like this. Is, this is, I'm like, man, I was like, oh, that, <laughs> all the training fucking pays off. That it fucking got it. It's like, B-Roll's like the head firefighter here, dude. We can, I think we'd make a great yeah. fucking. Some of us, <laughs> we make we can make great firefighters, bro. Yeah. So who needs the fucking mask? Thank you guys. We yeah. walk we walk in there and just be like, yeah, we don't need this stupid tank. We oh. trained for this. Oh man, Thomas, you're really dying, bro. Bro, the amount of oxygen <laughs> Yo, dying in the oxygen <laughs> level in here is yeah, depleting. It is depleting. <laughs> it absolutely is. Um, <laughs> no, I've never seen no ghosts or nothing, but could have sworn felt <laughs> some shit. You felt some shit? Yeah. Like, what happened? That put, that put touch your hair away. <laughs> no, like, you know when you I mean, feel somebody know. standing behind you, and you know someone's watching you, and you hear shit. Or you feel something. Yeah, yeah that, that's the most I've ever really had. Damn. That's the crazy shit. If something, like, fucking <clears throat> taps you, and you look around, and nothing's there. That's the scary shit happened to me when I was sleeping. <laughs> I sleeping. Thought someone grabbed my fucking leg. I'm not even. Oh, joking. dude, that's like the one thing like Real Hispanic talk. moms fucking tell you to Real scare talk. you all your life. No, like, no, that shit happened. They're happen, gonna no. pull your legs, bro. Yeah, I never <laughs> slept. I never slept with the fucking blankets yeah. off my feet because of that fucking fear, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah I jump three yeah. feet from the bed onto the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I never wanted to like. They tell you some fucked up yeah. shit when you're a kid, bro. Like, why would you fucking instill fear instead of telling me the truth? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Man, man. Like you better oh listen God. to me. This monster's gonna get you. If not, like, bro, what monster? Where is this shit? Like, I, I'm stupid right now, bro. Come on. Yeah, yeah. We we have we have some uh, we have some of these spirits in the building. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that sometimes work about, but you know he's been cool as of late. Like just been chilling. <laughs> but we see shit here in the building. People will say you guys are just high, but it's you know. Definitely something. Yeah. Now when the beer can moves. <laughs> yeah, we. Oh my god. Yeah, beer that's happened out. on our podcast where he'll, you know, the spirit that's in here moves something on the table. And you have it on camera. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Flip and see my. I gotta see hat. that. I gotta see that shit. We'll show it we'll to show you. you. Fucking funky man, it's crazy. Hey, but I just want to thank you for jumping in this box with us, man. This is for sure. setting it off the new, the new season. This is, uh, you know. Um, it's good to be back, and we it's set it off me. in a fucking big way. I'm gonna say this is one of the first times where I'm like, 
Yo, yo, yeah, let's get out. <laughs> you guys, you know, all right, 2022 right. starting different right. for me. Word. You got any <laughs> shout outs you want to give? Shout out to Oxygen. Shout out to uh, Air, Water. And uh, no, that's it. Everything I'm doing, just YouTube, Dope Zola. Instagram, I get to lead every five seconds. So, and other than that, just the dopeshop.com for, I mean, we can ship cash. And pens to your door legal. It's fucking stupid. That is fucking awesome. It's insane, man. It's fucking crazy, actually. You can bring the experience to people that don't have it in their area. In their state. Yep. That's fucking exactly. awesome. Exactly. Hey, brother, salute and thank you again. Thank you all for watching the Smoke Box. Make sure you check out that Dr. Green Thumb podcast on the daily Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 Eastern on the start. It's all live. So join us. Uh, on behalf of Cali Blaze, E Zone, and myself, stay peace and uh, stay with love. I finished my joy. Right. Did you? No, I just went to the road. Got the heart of a lion, soul of a titan, mind of a genius. Fly with the heighten. All your senses are senseless, resistant, relentless. It's what they call you when your grind is endless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho. I move weight like lipo. Got a big crib like Michael. Out the window with a rifle. My wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white hoes. I got pre rolls in that red cup. That's key line. Don't like those. Got a full pack and we move that. Too aggressive, better pull back. 